Okay, guys, I hope you had fun in the field uh, with collecting some data and I hope you see the value in actually creating a good configurable data model. Now, I know you guys have got some questions around that. So, and from a modification perspective, I definitely think there's ways in which to improve on your configurable data model. But part eight, we are going to import your information to see where you went, where you walked, etc. So part eight is how to import smart mobile patrols back into smart, which is on your desktop or your laptop in front of you. And we are going to do that now. So you have your desktop or conservation area open in front of you. You're back from the field where it's nice and hot. And what you do now is you plug the device into the computer using the cable that is provided. And the first thing we do is left click on field data, go to smart mobile. Now remember what I said, import is taking in from the device and exporting is from the device from the computer to the device. So we're now gonna import. So immediately a, a window arises or pops up in front of you. It's gonna import from a device files or archive. Don't worry about files or archive for the moment. Just make sure the device is selected and then left click import. It will then process the files and it will ask you, do you want this ground patrol to be created as a new patrol and you say leave it as a new patrol and you click left click OK. It will process the JSON files. Here you'll see there is a bit of an error but remember I'm inside you shouldn't be getting um, errors because you've been outside with the with the proper satellite reception but you just read the error it says if you continue um, I'm just gonna say yes for now and here it is here so this patrol here is the one that I'm want that I'm wanting to look at because this is actually working quite nicely and um, if I click on this arrow I can double click on the patrol itself to open up and actually have a look at the information here. So Buffalo head office, who the leader was, who was part of the patrol. At the bottom here, you can see uh, the different days or the same day, but different patrol types maybe, because remember you might have changed the transport. If I click it, left click the bottom 11 Feb in this case, it will show me all the information here. Now there's two extra two extra observations here. I did not you saw on the screen that I did not take any information down, but here's my incursion that I selected. So this here I can delete. But I think this has got to do with the properties that I changed. So if I double click on incursion. I can select these little tiny dots here and I can actually have a look at the information. Okay. Also, if there's an attachment, that's where your photo would be. It will pop up here. I traveled 350 meters. Uh, rest minutes, it was too short to, to, to say that it was more than zero because I was only patrolling for 10 minutes for this demonstration purpose. If I click on the map tab at the bottom here, I will then be able to see where the points are in this case. Here it is here, this dot here. Now remember this point is not going to show up on your map in this case, but all your points should be with the background of the aerial photography photo that is in your conservation area. Okay, so that way then you can actually, the best thing to do is use this as a debriefing. So especially if you're the smart administrators, to use this as a debriefing method in order for you to quickly check 
um, the information that is coming in from the field. Cool, hope you had fun.